Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. So make it a great week, folks. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge of great philosophical concepts. Concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up eight, NASDAQ up five, SP's down two and a half, gold, gold contract uh, up five dollars, ten cents, trading at two thousand five an ounce. We have silver up forty one cents, twenty four dollars, ninety cents an ounce, a light sweet crude. Where are you? Up a dollar thirty one, eighty one dollars, eighty nine cents a barrel. Uh, copper, copper's on the move up here. It's up eight and a half pennies, trading out at 401 a pound. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up four ticks, trading 111.15. The 30 year up 10 at 124.18. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading up 226 ticks at 101.848. Euro is 109. Yen is at 142. And the British pound is at 128 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get the beginning of window dressing. You get a sideways move out here. You get summer trading. You know, long, week, long, long weekends. That's for sure. You get 33 million shares traded. You get the S&P, the spy down 23 cents. You're trading out at 456.70, and I expect that that's we're gonna have a sideways move right into the close, folks. We go take a look at the futures, and what you have in the futures, it's, a, it's the same kind of indication. So if we take a look at the futures, what you're going to see, the biggest bar that we actually had, take a look at this baby. So yeah, you had the big bar right at the open. When we, if we took the second bar, you know, that bar at the uh, 45.95, no, 45.99, you know, it has some juice in it, okay? So we'll see what happens with this bar right here. Let's see. Well, you, we, a new bar is going to start right now because they just took it down on price a bit. So it looks like it's going to go after that. We'll see whether it gets something. But regardless, I don't, you know, yeah, maybe it'll be down 5 points, 7 points in the S&P. You know, nothing, nothing real heavy here. Because what's holding this up is if you really go back a few more days, there's, there's plenty of support up at this level, even though we're at highs. We go into the queues. Take a look at the queues. The queues are set up the same way. Bottom line is that, you know, you get a sideways move in the queues. You're down 47 cents. You get 34 million shares traded. If we go into the end queues and we take a look at the end queues, there we go. So we take a look at the end queues, you're going to see the same setup. You know, the big bar that we had this morning, that's where the volume was. That was 28,000 contracts. When we came down a second time, you only came down with 10. That's how dramatic it was. So we'll see how this shakes out here. It's gonna, it's gonna go, it's gonna try to go after the bar that we had like at uh, 1300 hours, one o'clock this afternoon. It's gonna go after that. We'll see if we get an expansion of volume. In fact, it, as we're speaking, as I'm speaking right now, it's going after it right now. Gold, we take a look at the gold contract. Uh, gold contract uh, right now, 
Trading up 5.30. Now, what's interesting, you know, of course, Mondays I do the gold report, folks, right? And it looks to me that, you know, after going through a lot of these equities, you know, I, my take is gold's going to go higher, you know, in a, in a big way, you know, right now. But that being said, guess what? <laughs> it wants to go test this low of last week first. And that's 1981. Because when you take a look at whether it's the XAU, the HUI, they're all basically, you know, they were coming into their strength, but yet the volume was still a bit too high. So it's like, you know what? This thing is going to try to get into this uh, area again. I'll bring, one, I'll bring the XAU up right now so you can see what I'm talking about. If you take a look at this, we put this. So the XAU is up 331 today. You know, we had come down with uh, 80, uh, 27 million. You were going into 26 million. I won't get the volumes till later today, but it's light volume out here right now. You know, so on a short term basis, I think we're still in a little consolidation here. And what the culprit's going to be more than likely is this good old dollar. Because if you take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see here is that, you know, that dollar rejected lower price when it, when it broke its about that one. It got out of the range. So it came back inside the range. Your first swing point is up at this 103,500. And then if you go to the UUP, which is the closest thing I can get to with volume on the dollar, what you're going to see is that, you know, we took that out with volume. We, you know, we did uh, 3 million versus 3.5. 3 3.1 million versus 3.5, 1.5. 3.1 versus 3.5. That's saying that also wants to get up to that higher level. So I suspect that's where we're going. If we go take a look at the note and bond market out here, the 10 year note first. The 10 year note, we're up four ticks. This thing's been moving all over the place, you know? And this is going to have to build cars now to get the higher price because when we came down last week, it came down with, we just came down with some volume. You know, the, you're still inside the range, you know, but like today, today you're up four ticks. You have hardly any volume at all. We had come down with 2.2 uh, million contracts. You know, as long as you stay above the 110.27, you know, you're in the higher range, but we're just barely above it. So I suspect we're going to be seeing some more sideways movement, some building cars movement in order to get to higher price. That's how this baby is setting up right now. Some of the inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You got CrowdStrike up 4%, 4 Datadog up 4%, Adobe up 3.3, taken away from it. Dexcom off 5.5%. They got Intel off 2.3. You got T Mobile down 2.1. Inside the Dow Industrials. Point wise out here inside the Dow Industrials, what we have. You get Chevron putting 30 positive points, United Health 24, Caterpillar 21, American Express 20. Taken away from it, you get J&J &J, minus 45, Microsoft uh, minus 24, Amgen minus 16. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is down one. And NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are down three and a half. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials up three, NASDAQ up one, S&P's off three and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding newsletter, Mastering Probability. It's very easy to get. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one full year, folks, for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So you can get the newsletter. Steve has a huge amount of archives. He has a huge amount of tools that you get to take a look at. You can use, understand, great value. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, you know, you were talking about the the markets, obviously, and one of the things that you and I, we don't overlook, but, we, but it's not necessarily our primary focus, is the Russell 2000. So I just, as you were going through the charts in the summertime, I, I was put, I put the charts for the IWM up on my screen, cool. which we're showing right now. And the interesting thing, so you, you mentioned a couple of the different tools and the patterns that I teach subscribers. Uh, one of those patterns is the uh, TD9 count pattern. And in the case of the IWM, we take a look at the ETF. It actually formed, it, co it, co it confirmed that pattern on the trading day of July 20th. Now, what that, that did was that established a resistance zone, uh, which is the high from July 19th. And that's out at the 196.94 level. Now, we're trading above that right now. And it appears that we're going to negate that pattern, as well as a couple of days ago on Thursday, there's another pattern that I teach called the Rhodes Moment. Rhodes momentum pattern. Uh, it helps us to identify tops and bottoms. And in this case here, the IWM formed that pattern, the Rhodes momentum indicator pattern on uh, July 27th, uh, last Thursday. Now, price is trading above both of those highs. Now, even though, uh, folks, uh, price, uh, even though it generated those topping signals, what price never did in the IWM was break support. And here, in the case of support, Tom, we're not even talking about the lowest level because one of those tools that I use for support are those TAS market profiles. Price is above the top of the profile. Yes. It, we tested it on that day on last Thursday when that we had that big swoosh to the downside. All price did was test the top of that profile. So the overall signal for the last few days is because price never broke through support was more of a neutral type signal. But that's not what we have today. If we get a close above, and I use this high here from Thursday, if we get a close above 197.63, this says that that pattern gets negated and it should continue to move higher, the IWM. 
When I look at the weekly chart out here, I've got a weekly A to B equals CD pattern that could take us up into the 201 area on a monthly basis. Prices above another tool that I teach is the oscillator and change line. Prices trading above a green oscillator and change line here on a monthly basis. We're going to get it close above the top of its profile. The charts for the IWM, Tom, no matter how I look at them, they're bullish. Especially cool. today, with yeah. uh, with price taking out uh, that uh, prior set of tops that I've and that's so a long it, base, man. I mean, if it can take that base out, that's a long. I get the weekly up right now myself, and that's if it can take right. that out, that's a long base. Yeah, there, there's there's no doubt when you really widen that chart out, you can see that consolidation. Like, man, right? And that's what you know. That's in the face of rising interest rates, right? Which yes. should impact the. The small caps more than you know impacts everybody, but certainly the small caps you would think would be the biggest. Um, oh yeah, would have well the it can be impact, indicating right? that we're getting close to the end too. That, it it yeah, doesn't yeah, have absolutely. to be a pullback, but you know, in the in the interest yeah. rates, but it could and you know indicate that we're getting close to the end. So absolutely, absolutely. So you know, oftentimes you and I we discuss the seasonal cycle patterns for the indices. As you know, I've got this uh, tool. Uh, provided by the folks over at Seasonex. So it allows us to take a look at the seasonal cycles. And what I've got up on my screen right now is the uh, NASDAQ 100. And I'm just looking at the last 10 years. So when we take a look at the last decade, the NDX 100 on average has topped out around August 13th. So two weeks from today. So we're still in the favorable seasonal cycle. We're at the end of the month. You talked about window dressing. And this rally on average is suggesting to, at least based on this seasonal time frame, that uh, we could rally for another couple of weeks out there. So something for everybody to take into consideration. Uh, this is the seasonal pattern for the NDX 100 over the last 25 years. So we take a look at the last 25 years. It says something different. It says that we should have formed a top. Um, a little while ago, and the NDX 100 um, uh, actually formed a Rhodes Momentum Indicator Top similar to what we were looking at in the IWM on July 20th. That is still in effect, and it won't get negated until we see it close about 15, 9, So which pattern is it? Is it the one for 25 years that showed the top um, you know, uh, a few weeks ago, or is it the one that uh, is on a 10-year program? And I don't know the answer to that, but if we take a look at the uh, daily and weekly charts for the NDX 100 and the NQ, what people will see here is both the daily and the weekly charts for both of these instruments. So in the case of the NQ on a daily basis and the NDX 100, we see that Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. And it's shown by these black diagonal lines, Tom, that automatically get drawn when it, drawn when it meets the conditions that I'm looking for. And that way you don't have to do, I don't have to do any work. I just have to be aware of the pattern. Just by getting a pattern, though, doesn't mean that's a top or a bottom. The way that my patterns confirm themselves is the market speaks to us in bullish or bearish reversal candles, and it's at those tops or bottoms where I'm really taking a look at that specific uh, uh, type of candle formation. So we have a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top on the daily for the NQ. On the weekly, we've got a TD9 count and Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. In the NASDAQ 100, we've got a, on a daily basis a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. And on the weekly, the same thing, we have a TD9 count top. Now, here, price is not busted through support. So the NQ is basically held profile support, and not until that gets taken out would we see a market moving lower. So uh, it's just something to consider here. So even though you and I, we talk about the uh, seasonal pattern, what I thought I would do with the last couple of minutes here is instead of doing, instead of focusing our time there, is dive down and take a look at stock performance over the next 60 days. So it's another cool tool that the um, uh, that the folks over at Seasonex provide. And what we're looking at right now are the uh, top 20 performing stocks over the last 20 years for the next two months out there. Okay. And so I've got the top 20 that are listed here. So uh, SGEN, uh, Seattle Genetics, shows up as the number one uh, top rated stock. This happens to be the top 20 stocks that underperform the market. So in this case here, and again, during the same time frame, we'll take a look at the last 20 years and then what to expect during the next two months out here. Baker Hughes, a Sirius XM, Applied Materials, they've had the uh, they, they have underperformed the market, meaning, meaning they've moved lower. So we go back to the number one performing stock within the index 100, uh, Seattle Genetics out here. And the cool thing is you can see the time frame that we're talking about. So it averages the last 20 years over this uh, time period out here. And 16 out of 20 years, this has been profitable. 
Now, when I take a look at the weekly chart for SGEN, it shows a sideways consolidation with price testing the bottom of its pattern. I've got an A to B equals CD down on the daily time frame, folks. So what I would be waiting for here, if somebody wanted to play some type of options trade or some, some other type of trade out there, I would wait for a bullish reversal candle on the daily time frame before I would enter that trade. The second performing stock with inside the NDX 100, NVIDIA. Uh, you can see, again, the time frame out here uh, for the next two months. What to anticipate or expect. When I look at the weekly chart for NVIDIA, it shows a failed TD9 count top. And that suggests we should see higher prices and increase the odds of further rally. The daily chart just simply shows a consolidation within its profile. So if price can close above the top of that profile at 474.86, uh, it should be off to the races to the upside. So lots of cool tools out there and uh, glad to share them with you. That's a beautiful thing, Steve. And listen, folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side, Master and Probability. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take Thank care. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. You come right back. We have the Dow up 10. NASDAQ off 1.5. S&P's down 3.5. We'll come right back. Attention, traders. Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN. Educating Investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow Industry is up 20, NASDAQ is uh, up 3, S&Ps are up 1.5. Let's go take a look at that copper market first. So we take a look at copper. Got it up. Eight pennies out here today. That's a big number, but you also have a break top side. And let's see if we get volume behind the move here. So, 
You do. So you get actually get an ABC structure up. So we got, let's see what we have here. You get 396. Not bad, 40 cents. Well, uh, that's 408. 408. Next, the next swing up there is like 408, well, 403. That's saying 418. Four, 408 is the number. Um, if you go over to Southern Copper, you take a look at Southern Copper. This thing broke topside. Um, that's up a buck 93 right now. We put this on a weekly, and you're going to see it's quite a break. That's, that's a sweet little break. Look at that. Look at that volume, man. Actually, this is a monster ABC up. Look at this. Hold it. Here's your consolidation. Let me put this on a monthly. Okay, so the monthly has got the break. Yeah, this is a big deal. This, this commodity market wants to go. Now, on the monthly, check this out. This is pretty intense here for Southern Copper because you can make the case. Let me just do this for a second. Yeah, yeah, watch this. This is going to be, this is a blast. This is blast off on Southern Copper, man. Big time, too. And I remember I have man Frank from Gloucester called on this, uh, I think, last week. So when you do a price projection on this, Watch how this goes. This is intense. You go to the, I'm not even going to take the bottom. I'm going to take, I'll do it more conservatively. I'll take, the reason I'm not taking the bottom is this, is that it's almost like it came back to where it had strength. I'm just, I'm just going to take it more conservative for a price projection. 56, it's still $27, which would get you, One ten. That's what this thing looks like it wants to do. So that's a big deal. TGB. Let's go see what TGB is. This is a little equity that has a real personality. Yeah, see, it's going too, man. So you're trading one fifty two. It's up nine cents. They got a huge amount of copper. As does FCX. Freeport Mac Moran. It's not up as much, but this is a, this is a nice setup too. That's coming up to its swing. And it had volume. It, it had good volume last week. 72 million shares. Your swing only has 67 million at uh, 46. And right now you're trading 44.61. So, so there's some action there. We go take a look at the oil. Let's go take a look at the oil market out here. The active contract. So the active contract in oil right now. You're coming into the swing. The swing up here is 81.46. You're actually over it. Let's see what we have here. See, this is this commodity market wants to wants to wants to rock and roll. Yeah, this is well. Let me let me do this. CL1. Let me do the continuous contract get an idea where we think this wants to go. Because what happened here, the, if you take a look at the CME, actually, and I'll pull this up, the CME, which would be one of the bene beneficiaries of uh, bull market and commodities, that equity also looks like it wants a much higher price. Okay, so let's put this on a monthly. Okay, so, come on. There we go. Well, yeah, man, this, hey, we're going to see what happens here. This might go to $90. We go to the XLE. Let's take a look at the XLE right now. This is breaking a swing today. They could get the volume. It's going to be close call, man. Actually, hold it. You already got an ABC up. 16 million, 17 million. Yeah, you Here's another one. Okay, let me do this a different way then. Let's put this on a weekly. Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay. 
Yeah, this is pushing with volume. This is saying the XLE, you know, wants to make a run somewhere into this uh, 93 area also. So that's going to get interesting seeing how this shakes out. Let's go over to the uh, E-minis just for a second. Again, we're getting some juice here. You're down 550. Let me just see if there's any volume behind this move. See, it's going to go after this. Let's see what time is it. You get six minutes into this bar. That bar has 15,000 contracts. Well, you might get some juice down here. Because what's happening is that you get 15,000 contracts already, and you're only going into 22. So it just depends whether the price can get down there. and You get, you get four minutes left in this 10-minute bar. More than likely to come down and probably test it. Let's go to the NQs. NQs are off 25. Just missed it, actually. So let's see what this volume is. This volume in the NQs, 60, 6,400. They're going into 10,000. So that's interesting. So the, the NQs have lighter volume, but they're, they're basically... They're coming right after it, man. They're going to have to have an expansion of volume because we're going into 10,000. Oh, you're going to get it. The 7,000 is three minutes left. This is going to go after it. So, so more than likely, what we're going to see here is this. It's going to go after that low, that opening low this morning. That's how this baby's setting up right now. Let me see if this thing is the one. Yeah. That's how that baby is looking right now. And that basically, you know, is still going to be a sideways market, folks. So that's what it comes down to. So if we go to the SPY, we take a look at the SPY. The last low that was laying out there was 456.25. Right now we're at 456.37. And you get two more minutes. Oh, this is an expansion of volume for sure, man. Yeah, this is expansion of volume. So it can blow this away. You can see, you can see, see the expansion. We're already at 1.72. That one this morning only had 600 and, uh, no, what is it? Yeah, 637,000. So you're getting the expansion of volume. So that says two different things. It says it's going to hit it, number one. Now the real kicker is, does it hit it? before the 10 minutes is up. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 5. NASDAQ is off 10. S&P's down 5.5. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now, uh, flat. NASDAQ is down 5.5. S&Ps are uh, down at 450. Yeah, there's another equity, uh, Kamiko. Kamiko, one of the Tigers are talking about it inside the den right now. This is a breakout, too. Kamiko's up a buck ten. Let's take a look at this. Put it on a monthly. Yeah, look at that. Now, I wouldn't be buying it right here. You know, you can wait for a pullback. You can see, because what's happening is that, see how it's blowing away that high? Let me see this for a second. Yeah, you're blowing on the way the high. You're coming into, well, you already got through it, really. Yeah, you already got through this downdraft. This wants the highs again. That's how it looks. That, that baby does look like it wants the highs again. Let's go back to these uh, E-minis just for a second. I'm just curious what kind of volume we got on that last bar. Okay, so... Yeah, you got a good expansion. We'll be right back down there again. Okay, so we got 25,000 versus 22. And this bar here, I may have, might have hit it. Let's see. Yeah, it hit it. But when you get to you get to the end of the day like this, they might they might take this down slightly. Let me go to the NQs for a second. NQ. You still get a sideways market. That's the real bottom line. But if you are trading the futures, it's every point is fifty bucks. So we hit ten thousand. Look at that. So so in the NQ is a little bit different. See, you hit ninety three hundred versus ten thousand twenty seven. You can see that's kind of neat. And this is this is if you just want to see how. Price and volume sets up. You, you know, your first leg down, you had twenty-eight thousand. Next leg, ten. The leg we just did, nine ninety-three. So that's just saying the NQs wants to go higher. Well, not higher, but you get the gist. It doesn't look like it wants to go lower. And then if we did the same deal with the S and P's, the S and P's are a little bit different because we broke. The sec, the last swing with volume, and you're still under. Yeah, you are. You're still under the big volume. You're still under this. Uh, well, you're right at it, actually. The 46, it's 4601, and you're 4602. That expansion just depends whether that same trader wants to try to get it down again. Because what you do have here is, even from Friday, you can see there's a little high volume low that's laying there from Friday. That was the only. Oh, is that Friday? Yeah, it was that Friday. That was the only time we pulled back at all. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, let's take a look at them. You got 
SoFi, uh, that, that's up a buck 85. Um, you got Tesla, uh, Tesla's flat. Uh, Advanced Micro's up a buck. You got Roku, Roku's on the move. That's up $6.85. That's pretty amazing, actually. Let's go take a look at Roku and see what's happening. R-O-K-U, R-O-K-U. So Roku, look at this. That's hitting the high for the year. Up, low is 38, the high is 98. Man, oh man, what's going on with this stock? There must be a huge sharp position or something in the stock. Yeah, there is. And the stock's on the move, man. So you get a 12... You get a 10% shot position, 12 million shares. You got a small float. You get a float of only 124 million. Look at this. This thing in three days has gone from 67 to 96. Bring this up. Oh, I wonder why. It should, it should do something. I mean... It's been a one-way trip on the way down. We went from 490, oh my God, 490 to $39. But guess what? You know, you're, you're, off the, you're off the lows and you have volume off the lows. So we'll see where this is gonna go. Let's see the next time, they must have just, yeah, they must have just come out with numbers. Numbers would have went like this, 847 million top line. As far as you can go out with Roku, it's saying that they're actually losing money, which is, which is pretty wild. That's how that's set up right now. And we do have to go back to the S&Ps for a second. I like that move. Okay, so let's take a look at this for a second. Come on, where are you? ES. It just took out the lows. You got eight minutes into this bar, and this is going to be a high volume bar too. This will try, this will try to go after the swing now. That uh, that swing. Let's see the swing from Friday. We're almost there. Yeah, it wants to go after the swing from Friday. Well, no, that's ten points down. It's just going after the swing from last night. That's what it looks like. You're down eight eight and a quarter right now. That swing from last night is. Uh, 95, you're at 98 right now, you're down eight. Because it's been such a dull market, you know, we'll see where this baby shakes out, but it looks to me like, uh, you know, there'll be, be a little more pressure. Let's see if the NQs are doing the same thing. Whoops. NQ. They took it out too. Yeah, they took it out. And you get some volume behind the move. So the, right now what's happening is that your E-mini is basically your, your, your leader. You know, not that, not that there's a lot of smoke, that's for sure. But that, that is the leader out there right now. We get the Dow off uh, 25, Nasdaq's down 19, S&Ps are off uh, eight and a half. We go take a look at the GDX. And I'll show you a couple of these inside the gold market, how it's kind of set up. See, the GDX, you know, it did fill the gap, but I don't like how this acted, man. Um, you know, filled the gap nice on Thursday. We got down there, though, with uh, 38 million shares. You're up today with 13. That's just not enough, man. That's just not enough. You know, a couple of movers, Pan American Silver was on the move again. They, they, what happened there with Pan American Silver is that they actually sold their non-core assets to Glencore for $593 million. That's why you're going to see that pop. But that's, gonna, that's an ABC up now. That's, this is a good move, man. We do own it. But uh, bottom line, that's a good move. You have, your B point on this is the, uh, let's see, 1680. This loves doing ABCs also. So...
you got about 1994 coming at you. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down five. NASDAQ off eight. S&P's off five and a half. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's up 23, Nasdaq's up 5, S&P's off 1.5. Let's go uh, HBM. Let's go take a look at this uh, equity here. This is uh, Hud Bay Minerals, okay? So... The low is uh, 341, the high is 643. We take a look at this and put this on a weekly. This is a good looking chart, man. Um, yeah, look at that. I mean, you could, you could volume all over the place in this. I mean, your next swing point here is your five is 634. It wants to go for the 634. You can see that these, you could, you could buy in in this equity. That's the bottom line. Then we got another question about the uh, market in general, you know, you, if you close higher, bottom line can go higher. The question is, if you close lower, can you, can you go lower? Yes, you can. That's how it works. There, there's no doubt. You know what I mean? In this case, you can see it's going to be a sideways move. They just flushed that down. That's inside the E-minis. That's what was going on there. You know, but we, you can see I was quick, fast, and furious. <laughs> they took the swing out. They took the swing out, no doubt. And more than likely, they probably just wanted to get long down there. That's how that kind of sets up. 
as you can see, what we just did here, we just, you got down to that uh, 97, and, you know, the, the, it, it's interesting because you, you have a slow day today, but yet you can still get these 10-point pops inside of the S&P, you know. So that's saying that you still have the volatility here. Actually, let me look at the VIX and see where that VIX is. So the VIX, yeah, the VIX is laying, you know, at 1368. Not that heavy, but, you know, it's not going down. It's kind of going sideways. It's up 35 cents today. Not No big deal there, but that's... It's been down at those lower levels for quite some time. And inside of the summer, of course, what ends up happening is that that's when the, the VIX could normally stays pretty low. That's how this thing shakes out. So what you're going to have out, out here today, you're going to have a sideways market. You're going to have tremendously lighter volume. We're only at 541,000 right now in the NYSE. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, a safe night, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.